welcome to Nostalgia Hit. In today's video, we look back at the cast of the 1985 adventure comedy The Goonies. We'll revisit the stars of the film and update them as of 2022. Also, stay tuned for some incredible film facts and news of a Disney Plus Goonies remake with a twist. Enjoy the video. Sean Astin played Mikey. In 1985, Astin was 14 years old. He was born on February 25, 1971, and is now 51 years of age. Aston has starred in almost 180 films and TV shows, including The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, 50 First Dates, and Stranger Things. His most recent role was in Season 2 of the crime drama TV series, Perry Mason, where he plays a recurring role as Sonny Grice. Josh Brolin played Brand. In 1985, Brolin was 17 years old. He was born on February 12, 1968, and is now 54 years of age. Brolin has starred in over 70 films and TV shows, including No Country for Old Men and American Gangster. He also plays the role of Marvel Comics supervillain Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Brolin's most recent role was in the mystery thriller TV series, Outer Range, where he plays Royal Abbott. Jeff Cohen played Chunk. In 1985, Cohen was 11 years old. He was born on June 25, 1974, and is now 48 years of age. Cohen appeared in 16 films and TV shows, including The Facts of Life, Amazing Stories, and Family Ties. His last role was in the 1991 TV movie Perfect Harmony, where he played War. Cohen left acting to pursue a law degree and is now a founding partner at an entertainment law firm. Corey Feldman played Mouth. In 1985, Feldman was 13 years old. He was born on July 16, 1971, and is now 51 years of age. Feldman has starred in almost 140 films and TV shows, including co-starring in Stand By Me, The Lost Boys, and License to Drive. His most recent role was in the 2022 comedy horror, Suicide for Beginners, where he played Randy. He Kwan played Data. In 1985, Kwan was 13 years old. He was born on August 20, 1971, and is now 51 years of age. After making his film debut in the 1984 blockbuster Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Kwan went on to have recurring roles in the TV series Together We Stand and Head of the Class. Due to lack of opportunities, Kwan quit acting in the late 90s to become a stunt coordinator and assistant director. In 2022, he returned to acting once again, playing the role of Wayman Wang in the adventure comedy film Everything Everywhere All at Once. Carrie Green played Andy. In 1985, Green was 18 years old. She was born on January 14, 1967, and is now 55 years of age. After making her big screen debut as Andy in The Goonies, Green went on to star in the comedy films Summer Rental and Lucas. She also co-wrote and directed the 1999 film Belly Fruit. Her last acting role was in the 2012 drama Complacent, where she played Beth Wilkinson. Martha Plimpton played Steph. In 1985, Plimpton was 14 years old. She was born on November 16, 1970, and is now 51 years of age. Plimpton has appeared in almost 90 films and TV shows, including The Mosquito Coast, Shy People, and Parenthood. Her most recent role was a recurring character in the 2022 comedy TV series, Sprung, where she plays Bar. John Matusak played Sloth. In 1985, Matusak was 34 years old. He was born on October 25, 1950. He died of an accidental overdose of the prescription drug Darvoset on June 17, 1989. He was 38 years of age. Prior to acting, Matusak was a professional footballer in the NFL, playing most of his career with the Oakland Raiders, with whom he won two Super Bowls. He appeared in almost 40 films and TV shows, including North Dallas 40, The Ice Pirates, and One Crazy Summer. His last role was in the 1990 crime comedy Down the Drain, where he played Jed Stewart. Anne Ramsey played Mama Fratelli. In 1985, Ramsey was 55 years old. She was born on March 27, 1929. She died of cancer on August 11, 1988. She was 59 years of age. Ramsey appeared in over 60 films and TV shows, including Any Which Way You Can, Scrooged, and Throw Mama from the Train, the latter of which earned her nominations for an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. Her last role 
was in the 1989 crime comedy, Homer and Eddie, where she played Edna. The film was released after her death. Robert Davy played Jake Fratelli. In 1985, Davy was 33 years old. He was born on June 26, 1951, and is now 71 years of age. Davy is also a classically trained singer, writer, and director. He has starred in 170 films and TV shows, including the blockbusters Die Hard, License to Kill, and Showgirls. His most recent role was in the 2022 horror film Dark Angels, The Demon Pit, where he played D. Joe Pantoliano played Francis Fratelli. In 1985, Pantoliano was 33 years old. He was born on September 12, 1951, and is now 71 years of age. Pantoliano has starred in over 150 films and TV shows, including Risky Business, Bad Boys, and The Sopranos, the latter of which winning him a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. His most recent role was in a 2022 episode of the horror TV series, Chucky, called Death on Denial, where he played himself. Mary Ellen Trainer played Irene Walsh. In 1985, Trainer was 32 years old. She was born on September 8, 1952. She died from complications of pancreatic cancer on May 20, 2015. She was 62 years of age. Trainer starred in almost 50 films and TV shows, including Romancing the Stone, Forrest Gump, and all four Lethal Weapon films. Her last role was in the 2007 comedy Cake, A Wedding Story, where she played Jane Andrews. Keith Walker played Irving Walsh. In 1985, Walker was 49 years old. He was born on June 29, 1935. He died from cancer on December 30, 1996. He was 61 years of age. Walker was also known as a writer and producer, with credits including The Fall Guy, Quincy Emmy, and M.A.S.H. He also co-wrote the screenplay for the film Free Willy. Walker's last acting role was in a 1987 episode of the TV series Our House called Giving Him the Business. Lupe Ontiveros played Rosalita. In 1985, Ontiveros was 42 years old. She was born on September 17, 1942. She died from liver cancer on July 26, 2012. She was 69 years of age. Ontiveros appeared in over 100 films and TV shows, including Selena, Desperate Housewives, and Chuck and Buck, the latter earning her a nomination for an Independent Spirit Award. Her last role was in a 2012 episode of the comedy-drama TV series, Common Law, called Ride Along, where she played Margie Lopez. Steve Anton played Troy Perkins. In 1985, Anton was 27 years old. He was born on April 19, 1958 and is now 64 years of age. Anton appeared in over 20 films and TV shows, including The Last American Virgin, Sweet Sixteen, and The Accused. His last acting role was in a 1998 episode of the TV series, NYPD Blue, called Hammer Time, where he played Detective Nick Savino. He has went on to write, direct and produce several works, including Burlesque and Proud Mary. Now, for some incredible film facts. The kids weren't allowed to see the pirate ship while it was being built. Their reactions to seeing it for the first time are 100% real. Sean Astin took the treasure map, which was actually speckled with real blood for effect, as a souvenir from the set, but his mom accidentally threw it in the trash, thinking it was garbage. Corey Feldman actually fit all the jewels in his mouth, which Mama Fratelli makes him spit out. The water slide at the end of the Goonies was real. Director Richard Donner and the crew would allegedly sneak in after filming stopped for the day to play on it. The Goonies will return to our screens with a twist courtesy of Disney Plus under the title Our Time. The upcoming series isn't a sequel to The Goonies, but rather it will follow a group of aspiring filmmakers as they try to remake the Richard Donner classic shot for shot on a shoestring budget. The TV series has yet to land a release date with Disney Plus. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, as it really helps the channel. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.